What's going on? Welcome to the Millennial Moguls and the Make Him Podcast. We are just coming out of the men's Bible study and had an awesome experience uh, today. We talked about financial peace. And one of the things that came up, and honestly, the title of our men's Bible study topic was you are not what you earn. So it doesn't matter if you're in surplus or in negative. You are not what your bank account says you have. You're worth more. You mean something. You're a blessing to this world. And I am taking that. I am really, really, really meditating on this concept that uh, when you're in a good space right now, and for us, we were learning about tithing and sowing our seed, giving our 10%. One of the things is I noticed is I'm not an expectation. I'm a pretty weak guy. I try to be as humble as I can. Don't want to cause any uh, conflict. And one of the things I also notice is that I am typically someone that likes to not expect big things. And that is not the case for me. I am definitely, definitely taking way more emphasis on the fact that God wants to do amazing things in life and he wants you to win. He wants us all to win. And for me, I haven't been expecting big things. I haven't expected great things. I try to do a lot of fun, exciting, and entrepreneurial things, but I took on the stress financially, and that wasn't necessary. You don't need to take on that financial space, uh, stress. Now, do you have to be responsible? Absolutely. Knowing where your money goes, knowing uh, what you do with your savings, knowing what you do, for me, uh, tithing first. And then lastly, giving, sharing, helping others. There's plenty of people I can be a blessing. Um, and it's a blessing to be a blessing. But the excitement that I had was the fact that I'm not expecting anything. Like, it's a... Uh, there was a gentleman there, and he had mentioned that he felt that it was selfish to expect things from God. And I felt the same way. Honestly, I thought it was something that you don't, you're not supposed to do. Um, but if you're, uh, if you're being trustworthy of God's resources and blessings that he places on your life, then it's okay. And I, I don't know. Um, I'm still growing in my Bible knowledge, but from I do remember, and I was uh, also reminded that it says that you should come boldly with your expectations to God. And that's something that I haven't, I haven't done. I haven't done. I think it's been something that is holding everything that I uh, pray about, everything that I work and pursue back. It's holding it back. And we got to break that. We got to break that today. And my excitement was hype in the car because there's so many things. Like I expect a great relationship. I expect a great marriage. I expect a great time with my family. I expect to be a blessing at work. I expect to you know, be a blessing um, in my business, to be a blessing in my community. I expect great things from my business. I expect great things from this YouTube channel. I expect great things just honestly taking me out of the equation, I expect great things, endless things for the people around me, viewers, uh, some some people who are don't, don't know who I am, people that just come across and expect great things from my blessings. And that to me was very revelation. It was a very good revelation for me. Um, I noticed also that one of the things that I have struggled with is the fact that keep it organic like my parents mood sometimes dictated on how much money we had in the house so for instance if we didn't have a lot at the moment well we did what we could do however there was stress on the household if, if a bill was due and if we had to cancel a few things or hold back on a few things it was stressful you know we don't really we didn't want to live a limited life. We want to live a limitless life. And sometimes that was dictated on our finances. So I grew up learning that. And that was never God's intention for you. Uh, God's intention was to hold the responsibility and to relieve you of that anxiousness and worry and fear. However, we I learned to grip it early. And it honestly, honestly uh, for it to be a testimony is the reason why I I became entrepreneurial because I felt there was a solution. I know my family had a a lot of love and a lot of nurturing. However, we, we were missing the finances. And 
I knew I, I tried to learn and I researched and I kind of figured, well, the, the nine to five or the job or the, <laughs> the nine to nine, whatever, if you're working double time, that was not cutting the checks to, to give us everything we needed. And also it was up and down, it was up and down and up and down. So I, uh, I dove in deep entrepreneurially. I read a lot, a ton, 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 ton. Need to finish that book, that's volume two. Uh, for those who listen on the podcast, is I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. Um, but yeah, nah, no more, buddy. Like, the perfect stuff, like, uh, so if you're tuning into YouTube, this is not perfect, right? I'm chilling in a chair, fresh out of work, and I am going to still record the podcast because what you earn is not who you are. You are more than what you earn. And same thing goes, the same philosophy. This whole idea of instant credibility and instant gratification based off of likes and comments, um, it's not who you are. It's not. You got to really dig deep and remind yourself that you're a blessing, man. You're saved. Um, God loves you. And you have so many great, 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 great things inside of you and you're protected you're protected and it's a blessing man um thankfully me i found salvation with god early on in middle school i believe high school really 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 took it took it more serious than i was taking my uh, spirituality in middle school in college probably lived life a little bit too much fun uh but still was able to find some time to like find the church and then after college really really after this move honestly gave more effort to trusting in the lord and following him and over each phase in life no matter how great the highs were or how lows the lows felt or how lonely you might have felt or how encouraged you might have felt one of the things that I've noticed is there's no expectation. Honestly, I don't really have many expectations for the content that I put out. Um, the business that I put together, I have expectations, but for me personally, I, I could do a lot better. I could expect a lot more for the everyday, day and day. I have a high expectation for the end goal, but for the everyday, gotta have expectations now. Um, so before I get into a rampage of just saying the same word, why does it matter to me? It's because it's it's relieving to know that I can want more and it's not a bad thing. And so it's exciting for me because it keeps me encouraged. It keeps my drive going. It's exciting for me because my expectations for others can be positive and not selfish. Like, just because I expect you to win and, and grow and, and, and have great uh, multiplication in your prosperity doesn't mean it's keeping me away from the same and, and doesn't mean that this world has a limit. Uh, I think one of the things that hit me today, too, is like we we look at things like money as the source when it's not. It's the resource. It's a resource. It's a resource. So it's not the source, but it's from the source. And that's hugely important. So it's time to get down and, and time to get after it. Uh, like more importantly at this time, taking the opportunity to be confident and to breathe. Like we can get it done. Now, it's not the fact that you have to look at it as like God wants to make you his slave. It's about the aspect that God loves you and he sees you as a son or a daughter. And that's relieving. I never gave myself that financially. And honestly, with that being said, like even as boop, 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 boop. if you're on the podcast, what's happening is my hand shaking. But uh yeah, like I think now is the time to feel encouraged for me be encouraged because those who are around me peripherally those who are part of the division and the goal and pushing forward and as the company is growing 
uh, right now while I'm in the car industry, those who I'm around and I'm working with and working for, um, and those in my family and friendship groups and those who I meet in passing uh, and everyday day-to-day -day activities, they should feel that. They should be encouraged. They should be motivated. They should be inspired because our energies can feed off of each other. Our spirits, our mentality, and our physical uh, reflection of ourselves should be, it should be infectious in a good way. We should be super pumped. And that's how you know that you're expecting big things and it will happen. It will. And I think that's where I want to step into full authority underneath the power of God and and through Jesus Christ is being an authority for that positive expectation, for life-changing things in a good way, for breakthrough financially, and for uh, those connections, that that next level for business, that next that next deal that doesn't have to be done in a shady way, like that next, honestly, that next life-changing thing that's going to rock and be a blessing to so many people. And to know that you can do it without taking on all the pressure. It's not meant for you. Anxiety, fear, all that stuff is not meant for you. Living a good life is real. You're loved, man. You're, you rock. And I could be speaking to myself so that way I know as well. You're loving. You're kind. You're blessing. And it's a blessing to be a blessing. And life does not look like what you think your money has to look like. You could be the richest person in the world but you were still not what your bank account is. You're bigger and better than any type of money or any type of financial or any type of resource. You're bigger than that. Your life is more than just your resources. And that is something that I want to take with me anywhere and everywhere that I go. Uh, man, I, I definitely want to say, I'm, I'm excited to see how my energy level can stay at a higher level in terms of motivation because it's not okay for you to feel like even if like money starts to become uh, everything that you think about, it doesn't have to be that way. Expect to be free from that. Expect to have peace. Expect to have love. Expect to have enjoyable life. Expect to have peace on earth. Expect to have peace in your, in your community. Expect to have so many more things and, and also expect to be able to give so wildly that you can change other people's lives and expect to not have an ego about it expect so many things and that is um, honestly what i'm thinking to name my next book because i want to remember i want to go back on life and remember how i felt leaving that uh, sermon or bible study today and to know man like i stress i'm 24 i stress probably my whole entire life that I really can think about and remember uh, since I remember learning how to swipe a debit card when I was like five or six about money like where's it gonna come from how come it makes my parents feel stressed how come it how come I ha it keeps me from going one place to another how come it gets me a yes or a no and that's not the way to live I'm expecting to be free of that and I'm still expecting to be very very fruitful um, in terms of prosperity with money, with giving, with resources, with information, with love. And you can too. Don't get it twisted. Expect big and great things. But I think what I can lend it on is don't lust for it. Don't make it your idol. I'm, I'm speaking to myself and I hope that I'm encouraging others. It's like don't lust for it. Don't want that to be your everything. It's not the source, a resource. And you can still get it. You have the authority under God. And that is something that inspired me. Uh, and my pastor really talked to us about the verse in John. I got in the notes in my phone, uh, but I want to say that it, it spoke about God having a house with many mansions. <laughs> so God knows that you are here to live a very happy and fruitful life. And we're just financing the kingdom of God. We're doing our great things entrepreneurially. Um, encouraging others, building these great systems and processes and these big brands. Um, but remember, none of that stuff is meant to be lusted for. We can use it. We can enjoy it. It's a resource, but it's not the source. So your source to your happiness is bigger than that. And you're bigger than any type of bank account you may be able to hold. Don't, don't sell yourself for any amount. Not even a T on the front of that alien. <laughs> so... I don't care what it gets to, zillion or whatever, you're bigger than that. Your life is worth more than that. And you are not what your bank account says. And that is not an excuse to 
make yourself have no expectations for prosperity. Go out there, have big expectations for prosperity under the divine uh, love and mercy of God. And also realize that no matter what the account says, you are not what you earn. You are who you are and you are a blessing and it's a blessing to be a blessing. So with that, stay encouraged, stay blessed. And no more of this perfect stuff. I don't care. We, I'm expecting us to have a great, amazing impact. I think that's more important than you seeing my TV or you uh, seeing my little light switch there. Of course, I'm gonna try to keep the content clean, but guess what? You know what? All is love and all is well. So go out there, have great expectations and continue to be a blessing because it's a blessing to us. So stay happy, stay winning. And remember, I'm rooting for us all to win. Rooting for us all to win. Over and out.